Hi, I'm Brent. Today we're going to talk about how you can get some extra performance out of your car. And with me, I've got the Mazda MPS. Now, the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 models are very popular car, but they're starting to get a little bit tired and a little bit long in the tooth as far as their engine maintenance point of view. And you may have just recently bought one and looking for a way of making it go better, remembering that the maximum reliable performance you can get out of the internal engine standard parts because they will bend rods if you push too much boost through them, is typically a front part of the exhaust system with a reliable uh, performance tune on the factory ECU. And this particular car that I've got here at the moment belongs to a client that we're doing some upgrades on. He's got um, some modifications done to his air intake. He's got a modified air intake as well because he wanted it to sound a little bit different. But you might be wondering what this is that's sitting beside me. And what this is, is an on-car fuel injection cleaner. Now, unfortunately, our industry is full of junk and rubbish that are sold by workshops or what some people call profit in a can and they just don't work properly and one thing that we're very proud of is we selectively choose and only recommend it when we know we can give a hundred percent money back guarantee if we're going to be talking about some of this type of product because myself many many years ago was sold some product before I opened it, owned MRT Performance, and frankly, I just thought it was a waste of money. But these days, technology has come such a long way that the design of engines almost require this to be done every two years or 50,000 Ks. And in the case of the engine in an MPS, it is generally accepted as a very, very dirty engine in the way it operates. It builds up a lot of carbon and soot in the operating system internally in the engine. Um, as part of the combustion process. And some of that then migrates through the EGR down into the sump and then mixes with the oil and then causes buildup, which ultimately can cause um, the seal failure in the turbos, which manifests itself into blowing smoke. And then you've got to do a turbo repair or replacement. And you'll see another video about turbos on MPSs. But what we're doing here, this is a BG product and beside me, and this is not a spruiking promotion on that product itself, just to show you what we've put in the car, is this particular additive is a fuel system cleaner that we put in the tank, which then continues to clean the system after the car has gone for a full tank of fuel. But more importantly, the chemical that goes inside here goes into that pressure vessel, which is then plugged into the um, workshop um, airline to pressurize the system and what you can see down inside here is this injector nozzle what you can't see in there is a a nozzle with a fogging device on it we'll actually start the car and turn this on and this will then run through a cycling process which is controlled um, via the pressure going into the system and what that does is it goes through the engine and cleans both the sensors on the intake side and the sensors on the exhaust side particularly um, rear o2 sensors but more importantly it cleans the back of the valves which over a period of time gets build up of carbon due to the exhaust gas recirculation going back through the inlet manifold which is part of the emissions control system now what happens is Gone are the days of carby, where you had a, a, a carburetor on top of the engine and all the fuel goes right in at the beginning where the air intake is and the fuel was effectively a cleaning product or a washing effect of the way the engine would then operate. These days, particularly the MPS engines, which are a direct injection engine, the fuel is directly injected either on some models in the inlet manifold just before the valve into the port or in the direct injection engines actually directly into the combustion chamber. And what happens is on those cars, there's no fuel going in through the valve, which has any ability to clean the backs of the valves. And over a period of time, you get a buildup of soot, which then could cause the valve to not seat properly on the, um, on the top of the head and you lose combustion pressure and you lose performance. Now with this type of process here and this particular one, this actually is actually designed also for VWs because VWs are also well known, we all do, um, for really bad soot buildup. There's a couple of different types of products that we use in there depending on the model of the car. And after this car is finished having the clean done, you can actually directly feel the difference in the way the car drives on the road. Um, because of those features and benefits of the way the chemical process works. But it's not something we recommend every service. We only recommend it every two years or every 50,000 Ks, or it might be in the case of the first time for your car, and your car may be well over 100,000 Ks old. So um, we'll give you some more information on this products on other model cars as we successfully achieve them. We've been doing this now for quite some time. We also do it on diesel engines, but that operates a little bit differently in the way the fogging device works. But on some cars, we also clean in, we um, actually connect this device to the fuel pressure side of the engine, actually run it directly through the injectors, for example, on Subaru turbo and non-turbo engines. And that also has the ability to clean the injectors. But on the NPS, because it's a high pressure engine, 
the um, pressure out of here is not enough to run out of the direct injectors, so we clean them the other way instead. So there you have it, some good sneaky ways of making your car run a little bit better. Of course, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, check out our website for other updates on the Mazda when it comes to tuning and performance. And of course, you can contact us here in Sydney, or if you want to tune somewhere else in Australia, you can contact us through our partner network. But for today, no matter where you are in the world, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.